Hey everybody, hope you're enjoying uh, the start of summer. Um, I know I sure am. I've been looking at this area of my house for the last several months thinking I can't wait to get outside and enjoy a nice cup of coffee with my buddy George Cooney. Um, but this area wouldn't be complete without some beautiful concrete. This used to be a gray concrete sidewalk that we've now converted into a cool little space to hang out. Uh, what we're going to show you today is how to take your existing gray concrete and actually turn it into a really nice, warm, comfortable space uh, with some great products from the Phoenix Group. So stay tuned to the video. Um, George, are you excited? Yes, he's really excited. So stay tuned and we're going to show you how to do this DOI project at home. So the first thing that you'll want to do is get out a blower or a broom and clean off the surface. So when it comes to cleaning, there's nothing more fun than using a power tool, right? Well, with our process, a power tool isn't necessary, but it sure is a lot of fun. So I'm using a pressure washer here. This is just a standard gas-powered 3000 PSI machine. Um, as you can see, uh, this is making a a lot easier process to get rid of all that dirt and grime that got uh, kind of poured into the surface over the winter. A garden hose um, and a brush will certainly do as well, uh, but as you can see here, this is a lot of fun. And before you go any further, it's a good time now to consider protecting any finishes surfaces near your project. What I like to use are 3M products, uh, a 48 inch masking film, and a blue painter's tape. As you can see from this video, we really had a lot of wind uh, to contend with. So if you've got a helper, uh, it's a great time to uh, have an extra set of hands to help you with this process. What you're really trying to do is eliminate any material getting onto the finished surface, uh, which would later be difficult to clean. We're going to use Surecrete's SCR that is mixed one to one with water and spray it over the surface uh, prior to staining. What you like about this material is that it works really well to open up the pores, which allows our stain to really get down into the surface of the concrete uh, to provide durability and longevity. So as you can see, I've got the material now in our sprayer and I've mixed it up one-to-one -one with water. And immediately as it hits the surface, you can see this light uh, fizzing process that's taking place. That's showing you that it is actually biting into the uh, surface of the concrete and reacting with the cement. At this point, I'm using a stiff bristled brush and I'm working the material down in as deep as I can uh, to ensure that we're really getting a nice deep clean. As we continue the cleaning process, uh, you want to make sure that this surface remains uh, slightly damp uh, prior to putting the material on uh, so it does penetrate better. Once we've got the entire surface uh, scrubbed in with our SCR, now it's time to neutralize and clean the surface. Uh, again, we can use a power washer here for added fun and speed of application and process, or you can use a garden hose and water. But either way, what you're looking for here is to make sure that you have no residue left on the surface prior to staining. The material that we've selected to color the concrete is Surecrete's Eco Stain. This is a stain concentrate that is mixed typically with three parts of water to one part of the stain. We've pre-blended the material in a bucket and poured it into our plastic sprayer and now we're going to apply it to the concrete. You'll generally want to use a nice circular motion as you apply the stain uh, to ensure that you don't get any overlap marks or weird patterns from your sprayer. As you can see, the surface of the concrete is slightly damp. This is an important process to make sure that the stain really penetrates down into the concrete surface. As you can see, we have some nice highs and lows with this semi-transparent stain that's gonna look really cool. So now we're gonna let this surface dry prior to applying our concrete sealer. We're gonna use Concrete Coating Super Seal 2000 which is a single component solvent based acrylic sealer. What I like best about this product is that it not only does a really good job of protecting the surface from the elements, but it also locks in that concrete stain 
um, with more of a matte finish, um, different than you typically see with a lot of concrete sealers that tend to produce a highly glossy surface. The application method is pretty straightforward. You're going to take the material, you're going to pour it into a roller pan. You can use a plastic or metal tray just to make sure it's clean. And what I will typically do is cut in along the edges of the project with a small roller or a brush. This is really important just to make sure that you're not getting any sealer up on the surface of the house um, and to provide a nice clean edge for the remainder of the rolling process. Special tips here are just to make sure that you put on a nice even coat, um, not over applying the product where you have puddles um, or not putting it on so thin that it's not uniform. So as you can see here, I'm working just a traditional nine inch roller up against that edge and applying the material over the surface uniformly. Really nothing special about this. Uh, it's much like applying paint. You just want to get it on nice and uniform um, and make sure that you haven't missed any spots. So as we continue through this process, um, you can see that the concrete has darkened and as it dries, it'll lighten up slightly. But in the end, you'll have a beautiful, newly stained concrete surface.